Great to have you on. This is one of my favorite topics. This is preparing for the next year, preparing for uh, 2021. And uh, tonight I'm gonna take you through that. My name is Jim Winkler. I'm Vice President of Sales uh, with the company, with Market America and Shop.com. I've also been an unfranchised owner uh, for 24 years. So the things that I will be sharing with you are what my wife Lisa and I will be doing to prepare for our 2021. We're executive field vice presidents with the company. Um, and uh, like I said, I've been involved with Market America for uh, 24 years. So here we go, let's, let's jump into this. I'm gonna share my screen so you have the ability to see what I am uh, gonna share with you right now. If I can find my share button, why am I? Share screen, all right, there we go. Man, I am proving you do not have to be a technical wizard tonight, aren't I? All right, so jumping into it, let's talk about that action plan for uh, 2021 and let's really, uh, really get rolling now. So I, I'm a big believer in keeping the main thing the main thing. I think everybody knows that. Um, I'm very big on the basic five and the basics, as is the company. And a lot of times we get, there's so many great things that come out. I think we can get off base on that a little bit. So I'm really going to bring us back again to the basics. I also want to state, you know, we are, what's the date today? Today is December 17th. We have 14 days, 15 days uh, till we hit January 1st. So to start January 1st rolling, you have to finish these last two weeks strong. That's really a big key is finishing the next two weeks uh, very, very strong to start the first quarter. Now, I've taught for years, if you start the first quarter strong, it sets up your entire year. So what am I saying? I'm saying the next two weeks lead into the first quarter and the first quarter leads into the whole whole 2021. So let's get that rolling right now. Now, I could end with this slide right here. This could be the end of the presentation. And what it would basically say uh, when you take a look at it, how does your calendar look for 2021? If it looks like this, you know, maybe you have a, a dinner date with some friends in there uh, or whatever it may be, your business is not going anywhere. So we need to start prepping. We need to start getting that calendar filled. Maybe you're doing Zoom uh, home meetings. Maybe you're doing Zoom uh, one, two, three, right? With, with evaluations and sharing the business. Um, what it, uh, maybe it's product or wellness events, but whatever it is, your calendar needs to start to fill up. An empty calendar is an empty uh, wallet, an empty pocketbook, an empty bank account. So we need to get that calendar filled with meetings and presentations and evaluations to share our products and to share our business. Like I said, that, you know, what is it? It's a, okay, we're 905, that's the end of the presentation. If you do that, you're gonna do great because here's the, the truth of it. If your calendar's full, you can't fill. The, the, the program and the products are too great. The business and the way the products work uh, attract people naturally. So you just need to do the job of getting everything set up and, and ready to go with that. So what do you what do you have scheduled in your calendar right now? What, what gets scheduled gets done, as I was just talking about. That has always been a, a, a huge belief uh, that I have. And you've got to get that filled now to start the first quarter. You know, you've got things like work, you have family, you have personal life. We know that, that it's not just Market America or Market Australia or wherever you may be. You got a lot of things going on in your life, right? And there's your basics, whether it's haircuts, nails, doctors. Well, is, is there time left over for MarketAmericaShop.com? Here's what I'm going to tell you. If you don't get it in your calendar, if you don't have it put in your calendar, what will happen is nothing will be done. And that's why I wanna make sure that this becomes something that is scheduled. You schedule your business, you schedule work, am I right? Everybody schedules work. Uh, we, we schedule things like, um, we schedule our haircuts. We schedule, we're gonna go work out at the gym. Well, why don't we schedule some time to also do our business? Because I think that you have, when you have that, you're really, really set to go. So. What are you going to plan? What nights? What 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 uh, weekends? So learn to schedule your business right now. What should we have in there? Well, we should have World Conference in there, right? We should have in our Vegas trip. We should have in knowing that we should have our first local of the year. Probably most areas have a local going on in January. We should have in there our UBPs that are going to be going on. That should be in our calendar. 
so that it pops up. My, I do everything on my phone and, and on my computer so that it pops up uh, to remind me. We should have those appointments set that we're gonna be doing. So what nights, what days can I work? You know, a lot of us only have limited time, right? We can put into it. So we gotta take a look and say, okay, what, when can I do that? And how can I schedule that to do it? So put those in your calendar, then fill them. Um, what most people do is they try to see if they can get an appointment, then they put it in the calendar. I'm saying put the times in, now fill the times. Well, make sure there's a very important difference with that. You can do more with 10 structured hours than you can do in 20 unstructured hours. You know, we've always talked about this being a business you can do in five to 10 to 15 hours. I really believe it's 10 to 15. Five will, will, will get you going, but it's not going to create any momentum for you. 10 to 15 part-time hours, you can do some really, really great things with this, but they've got to be, be focused hours. So as we look at our action plan, let's remember that. Now, before we can get to an action plan, I think we have to know what, why are we doing the action plan? What are our goals? What are we trying to achieve? And I'm gonna ask some of you, and I'm rolling up the sleeves because this is the fun part. I'm gonna ask you to go along with me today. I want you to have a pen and paper, or I want you to have uh, your computer where you can write things in, or your phone where you can take notes on. I want you to follow with me on some of these goals as we prepare how we're gonna uh, go after those. So when I say that, I, I'm a big believer in dreaming big. You know, set goals, wh whatever you set, set it and make it big. Make it so you have to put some, don't set things you're already doing. You know what I mean? If you sponsor two people this year, don't say I want to sponsor one person next year. I want to sponsor two people. No, raise the game. You know, push yourself that much harder. Nobody becomes a, a, a huge success by uh, sitting in the comfort zone. You got to push yourself out of that. So set goals and take action. You know, and again, your goals are going to be your goals. Maybe you want to make $100 a week. Uh, maybe you want to make $100 a month. Maybe you want to make $10,000 a month. Those are yours and will be determined by what you decide you want to do. You know, one thing I think everybody should do at the end of the year uh, is set a dream board of what you want to have, what you want to write down, you know, and take pictures of the house you want to live in, uh, the, the car you want to drive, maybe picture of the team you have together, whatever it may be, put that together and, and have a dream board. I know one of the things Lisa and I will do every year is we will actually write out our organization. We'll look at it and we'll say, okay, what are we doing on this business? How much volume is coming up? What leaders do we have in that organization? Who else can we get paid? Because getting people paid is always an absolute key to building your business. And we'll identify those people and we'll talk to them and say, hey, we're identifying you for 2021. We're gonna work for you. What can we do to help you get your business to a new level? Because so many times all we're doing is, so many people are focused on what they can do only. And because you only focus on you, you forget about your people. And the truth is if your people get what they want, you'll get what you want, but you have to lead by doing it while you're helping them. It's not one or the other. I wanna make sure you, you heard me on that. It's not one or the other. You have to do it and help them do it if you truly want to achieve uh, great heights with, with what you're doing. You know, people without goals have no destination. If anyone has ever driven in a car with me that's on this today, uh, you would know that uh, I am not great with directions. Uh, I am uh, I'm not a human GPS. And I always feel if I don't have goals, I'm sort of the same way. With no goals, I'm just sort of going wherever I go, and I'll probably end up uh, getting really lost. So you have to identify your why, you have to set those goals. And if you don't have a solid why, you gotta figure out what, what it is. Why are you doing the business? Why are you gonna put in 10 to 15 hours a week in, into a business? What are you trying to achieve? What are you trying to change in, in your life? And you gotta really think that out a little bit, and, you know, take some time and write it down. Then I'm a big believer in writing it down as if it's the end of next year. And maybe it's the end of next year and you say, you know what, it's December 31st. 2021. I'm an executive coordinator with Market America. Uh, I've earned over $1,500 in commissions, and I now earn $300 to $600 on a monthly basis. I'm excited because this means I can pay for my car lease with that, or I can pay, you know, pay for part of my, my savings account towards college for my kids, or maybe I'm helping fund my retirement, whatever's important to you. And over the last however many weeks, I was able to identify four new partners, and now I'm on a pace of earning $1,500 a week. That's your goal that you can write down. Now I'm gonna tell you, don't write it down and hide it. Write it down and put it somewhere you're gonna see it. 
write it down and put it into your phone. I'll tell you what, record it into your phone, wake up in the morning, hit play. There is nothing more powerful than hearing your own voice telling you what's going to happen in the future. Uh, we're programming, and you've heard JR say this all the time, he's the master of it, programming our brain for success. You have to program it so that the brain believes it's going to get there. Uh, and a great way to do that is to put it on the phone and listen to it first thing in the morning and listen to it last thing in the evening. Put your goals on your notes so you can look at it on your phone first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening, uh, so that your brain is working on achieving that, whether you're just getting started or whether you're sleeping, it's gonna be looking towards those goals that you wanna hit with your, uh, with your life and what you're able to do with, with our business to be able to, to get there. So here's where I want you to write down some things, okay? Um, and, and, I, and I want you to, as I go through this exercise, I want you to think about it. How many people uh, per quarter are you gonna sponsor in 2021? I'm gonna change that, I don't wanna say per quarter. I'm gonna say, how many people are you gonna sponsor in 2021? So what's your goal? How many new business partners do you want to personally bring into the business? Now, let's talk about this. If it's, uh, I want to bring in four business partners, one a quarter, okay? So uh, if I'm doing one a quarter, which is four, four for the year, then I have to think, how many evaluations do I have to do? And I always tell people, you have to know your number. And by your number, what I mean by your number is, how many evaluations do you have to do to get somebody who uh, meets the criteria we want to partner with and who wants to partner with us where there's that good meeting together uh, of we've got the right person. So, you know, some people might say, hey, if I do four evaluations, sometimes it leads to one. Some people might say, hey, I got to do 14. It doesn't matter what the number is. It's just that you need to know it. So you know how many you need to do throughout the year. Now, the reason I have per month on that is because I want you to be able to monitor it. So if you're doing, if you say I want to do uh, four personally sponsored for the year, but it takes me six evaluations to have one person who we decide to partner with, that would mean you need to do 24 evaluations for the year. Makes sense? Six times four. That would mean in a month, you need to do two a month. Now, our goal is two a week, but two a month is going to lead you to four if your number is six. So now you can at least measure that, okay? Again, I'm going to make the recommendation you do two a week uh, and, and grow from there, but it's all based on your goals, not my goals, okay? My goals are always lofty. My goals are always pushing me and pushing my team uh, uh, to new heights. It's, it's what we want to look at as we do that. How much will you retail in 2021? Well, the first thing you have to figure out is how much have I retailed in 2020? You know, take a look. What have you done? Is that a strength? Is it a weakness? How much have you retailed total? You can look it up. You can go to your order history and see the orders that you put in, or you can go look at some of the reports and find that. But, you know, set a goal. And then, so whatever you've done for the year, break that down to the month and then say, okay, how much do I want to increase it by? Maybe you did $100 a month. Well, if you did $100 a month, can you do $150? You know, it's funny, $50, $50 extra a month leads to a lot of BV over the course of a year. Um, maybe you did 200 a month. If you did 200 a month, can you do 300? And you start saying, okay, what can I push myself to? Then how am I going to get there? What am I going to do differently to get to those goals? And I'll talk about that as we, we continue the presentation. Um, how many HBPs and product shows will you conduct this year, Zoom or in person? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to look, how many did I do this past year? How many uh, personal HPPs, home presentations on Zoom, where you may have had three, four, five people there, uh, or product shows, wellness events, did I do? Take a look at it and then take a look and say, okay, hey, what do I need to do this year to hit my goal? I know for Lisa and I, this is something we really monitor because we want to lead and leaders do the thing, the small things. It's not about being in front of hundreds of people or thousands of people or 20,000 people. It's really about being in front of five people. It's about being in front of seven people, helping one person get new customers. Um, I, I always want you to remember that as you're building your business. We're a person-to-person -person business. It's always been built one person at a time, one customer at a time. We can accelerate that with what we can do online right now, and it's wonderful. We can reach places we never reached, but that doesn't change the dynamics of there needs to be a relationship and there needs to be caring and, and helping that person to be able to grow. How many people have your next local seminar with you? 
I know our next local seminar for us is January 9th in the area that I live. Now you might say, well, I can go to any local right now. They're all online. No, you need to, you need to support your local area. Cause you know what, when we come out of this, when we come out of this pandemic, you're going to have a local area that needs to be supported. So what I'm going to tell you is for me, my goal is my local area, January 9th. How many people can I get there? I got to get on the phone. I need to text. I need to contact people and get more people there. Cause I know the more people I have there, the more people I have in the game, the more people I have in the game to start January, the better my year is going to go. I have seen years where you get that one person who goes to that one event and it changes everything. I saw this, a friend of mine just recently, and maybe she's on today, but she was on her GMTSS meeting that we did because she's a, a category one speaker. And she messaged me afterwards to say, hey, you know what? This has been a messed up year. I haven't done what I, what I wanted to do. I haven't achieved what I wanted to do. I give her a lot of credit. She was very honest about it, uh, about how what would have gotten in the way and I want to, and I'm going after, not I want to, I am going to do it in 2021. What changed? One event, it ignited again. We call it that brilliant, that, that billionth of a volt that goes off, that gets us going again. You know where it doesn't happen? It doesn't happen, happen watching Netflix. Sorry guys. Uh, it, do, it doesn't happen when you're not involved or around people. And I'm going to assume you guys are leaders because you're on with me at nine o'clock uh, Eastern time. Uh, to learn how to build this business. So you're the ones who are going to have to lead by contacting those other people and getting them there and telling them how important it is that they're there. How many people are you going to have a world conference with you? You know, I assume you're going. Then how many people are you going to have there with you? This is how Lisa and I have always judged the strength of our organization. Because if you don't have people at the major events, you, your group's not going to grow as fast as you want. And some people are going to be saying, oh, I can do it without that. And here's what I'm going to tell you. You're wrong. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Um, you get as many people as you can to those major events because the major events, they get to meet JR, Lauren, Mark, the team. Uh, they get to be trained by the best of the best uh, in, the, in our company and from our field, which is so vital. So you gotta work hard. You'll be able to say, where do you work? I work at moving tickets because I know if I work to move the ticket, then I've got the people being trained by somebody else. And I can sit back, I can spend eight hours watching something or six hours watching something, but I'm getting 600 hours uh, of effort going in because I've got a hundred people there with me doing it. I hope this is making sense to you. I hope you're grabbing this and I hope you're, you're taking notes on what I'm doing right now. So you're getting ready for 2021. How many times will you hit master UFO in, in 2021? I got to tell you, this is the gold standard. This is the, the one. This is it. My goal is to hit it every single quarter. Uh, four out of four. That should be your goal. That is, we look at that master UFO as the, doing the business. It's retailing. It's uh, sponsoring. It is tickets. It, it is, um, uh, it's, it's IBB. It's BB. Uh, it's, it's training. It's everything we need to do. So how many times are you going to hit it? Set a goal. How many times are you going to hit Shopping Annuity Master member? Um, since <clears throat> that program came out, it used to be called the, the Shopping Annuity Bonus Pool, I believe. I missed it one time in, I don't know how many, five, six years, seven years, whatever it's been. It was the very first time I missed it by a little bit. And I was so upset at myself uh, that I missed it. And, and, and the reason uh, I missed it was because I didn't understand uh, how important it was. Once I understood how important it was, I just changed my thinking on how can I hit that, which then led me right into Master UFO again. They work, they work synergistically together. If you're hitting one, you're probably going to hit the other. But make Master UFO the gold standard you want to do. Um, how many new teammates will you have hit new levels this year? I'm very big on, you know, it, it's great if you hit a new level, but it's, it's not any good if you don't take anybody with you. Um, I look at things like some of the people on the team this year I've seen on my personal team, like a Shelly Bow who hit director, but on her way to director, she's got over probably over 20 people who have hit new levels. Or a Trina White, who on the way to supervising coordinator, uh, just in that like four to six week period, she had a whole bunch of people, probably five, six people who hit new levels, doing the exact same thing. So you, when your people hit levels, you're going to hit levels. People always ask me, how do I get to that director level? You know, JR says life begins at director, right? Here's how you get to director. Create a whole bunch of coordinators. Because if you create coordinators who are earning checks, making retail profit, 
then they'll become executive coordinators. Some of those will go on to be uh, master coordinators and senior masters, and some of them will rise to professional and above. But you got to start by creating a bunch of coordinators and getting people paid and working with your team to do it. Don't just bring them in and then get mad if they don't do it. That's on you. Um, you got to have a heart and you got to have a heart that goes back to them over and over and over and works with them uh, to help them get there if they're willing to do the work with you. Now, if they're not putting anybody in front of you, if they're not doing anything, then you love on them. You just say, hey, love you. Got an event January 9th. I would love for you to be there. Would you like to get a ticket for it? What am I doing? I'm not going to beat them up and say, hey, loser, why aren't you doing what I want you to do? It's their business. They're doing what they want to do but I am going to get them to try to get them to the next event. I'm going to love on them because I want people to feel they're in a good place. I want people to feel they're in a great environment. I want them to feel loved when they're there. Nobody needs a boss who yells at them, right? You already have one. You probably don't want a second one. So one of my goals has always been to make uh, the environment of the team I'm building a fun environment, an environment where they feel appreciated and they feel good, whatever level they're at. But if I get them to the event, maybe someone else will get them to that, that next level. How many good books, sorry, how many good books will you read or listen to this year? Uh, I'm a big believer in continual education, continual learning. You know, it, it's funny, I wasn't the biggest um, uh, student uh, when I was in school, but boy, when I got out of school, I couldn't get enough uh, of learning on, on leadership, on reading uh, about uh, self-development, on, on goals, on uh, sales, on how to uh, approach people, anything I could to improve what I did uh, in my life. And, and I, I think you need to really set a personal development goal while you're doing that as well. And how much will your business income go up by this year? Let's let's take a look at it. So if you're, if you say, okay, I made $5,000 in 2020. Well, then what's my goal for 2021? Is it 10? Is it 15? Uh, you have to determine that. I can't determine. But then you got to figure, okay, how many times do I need to clear my center to hit that? Example, if you made $5,000 in 2020, that means you cleared your, your business center at least three times, right? $1,500, $1,500, okay? So if you say you want to do it 10, if you want to make 10,000, then you got to look at it and say, okay, I got to clear that center about, about seven times. And when I clear it my seven times, I would earn about 10,000 in commissions if that's what you're looking uh, to do. Then you start figuring out, can I earn leadership bonuses from my team? So you can break every goal you have down into, into your business development center to be able to, to do that. All right, so now we've talked about goals. So what's next? Now we take action. That's what this is about. Uh, as you guys know, <clears throat> I get excited. So I've always got my water and my aloe with me. With that being said, when we talk about taking action, um, what do I mean on that? What I mean by taking action is what do we do to hit the goals? I've always been a fan of 90-day sprints. Uh, so January 1st is coming. Make a commitment. Say for 90 days, I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. I'm going to schedule my time. I'm going to schedule it in December. So I've got that time scheduled for January, February, March. I know exactly when I'm going to work. Now, I know that can fluctuate at times, but at least you have a good idea uh, of when that's going to be happening. Happening That sets up the first 90 days actually sets up the second 90 days. That's what nobody understands. The first 90 days really sets up the second 90 days. So you're really by committing for 90, you've committed for 180. If you get a good half a year, you're going to just be rolling. And I can do anything. I'll tell you this, and so can you. We've proved it. We're here. We can do anything for a year. I mean, what a whacked year 2020 has been. Uh, yet you're standing, many of you are doing better than you've ever done uh, because of this business and you're in a better spot than ever before because you, you, you kept going at it and you kept the right attitude with it and we're able to do that. So that's what we're looking at, a 90 day, um, 90 day sprint and surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with people on the same mission as you. If you say, yeah, but Jim, you don't know, but my team is negative, they're depressed, they're, they're this, that. Okay, then guess what? We got to find some new teammates. 
Uh, not that you get rid of the other ones. You just can't be around negativity. I, I've almost stopped watching the news. I can't take it anymore. I can't stand to see all the negativity that, that, that spews out of newscasters so that they can get more people to try to watch it. And people sit there uh, getting upset. Uh, you know, you, you got to look and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to make my own version of the future. And I'm going to put myself in that position. And I'm going to surround myself with people who think the way I do. People who are positive, people who are forward thinking, people who are entrepreneurial. That's what we're, we're doing. And, and that's really the, the key is if you don't have them, find them. If you've got senior partners, surround yourself with them. If you've got teammates who may not be on your, your, we'll call it your financial line of sponsorship, but they're great people that, you know, surround yourself with them. That's the beauty of an open GMTSS and training that we have as a going on. Now, one of the things I'm going to tell you is keep prospecting you know, keep growing. We've had an incredible year. It's, it's very interesting that during a year where most people were locked in for the majority of the time, unable to go and do what they normally did, our recruiting numbers are up this year. Can you believe that? What does that tell you? That tells you that it's available. That tells you that it's there. I honestly, I think 2021, watch out. Um, I mean, between what we now know how to do with online and what we know how to do in person, you combine those two together. I think there's going to be uh, just th this, this great year for so many of our unfranchised owners who are going to feel like they have a breakthrough year in what they're doing because they, they now are combining their technology with their talents that they've always had uh, and been able to do that. And you know what? Stop trying to turn the fives into aces. Do you know what I mean by that? Uh, it means you got somebody who you're talking to. They're not really that interested, but you're trying to push them along. Hey, get some people in front of me. They're like, oh, I don't really want to. I'm not that interested. You're like, and you just keep hammering on them. Hey, say thanks a lot. Really glad if you if you can't think of anybody to put in front of me, fantastic. Can you think of anybody for the products? And then move on to the next person. Because you're not looking for fives, trying to turn them into aces. You're looking for aces. You know, I've always said it's much easier to build with people who want to build than it is with people who don't. <laughs> I know that seems really common sense, but maybe that one will hit you a little bit later. So many of us try to build with people who don't really want to build. Find people who want to do it, who enjoy it, who want to be around it. You know, I always say if someone doesn't call me, I know they're not that interested. If they're not calling me about things, they're not that interested after I've started this process with them. So find, and that, by the way, goes with your group too. Sometimes people you thought were aces turn out to be fives. Doesn't mean they're bad people. They're great people, but they're not going to build your business with you. They're going to do a little bit. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to make a little bit of money. They're going to retail. They're going to use the products, and that's wonderful. But, but so many times I see people depending on people like that to try to build their business. That's just laziness on your part because you got to get out and then find the right people to work with. And by the way, I will tell you, there's, you want to see somebody who's been in the business 24 years get excited. If I partner with a new person who's excited, wants to build, put me in front of people, I feel like I'm in my first year again. It is one of the most exciting things that happens to any of us veterans is to see the business through a new person's eyes again and to be helping them and working with them. Uh, that's why it's so important we keep that as part of uh, what we do. So what I'm going to do now, let's, let's talk about a names list. Again, our action plan. We need to put together, I always say you need a minimum of 100. Honestly, I would prefer you start 2021 with 300 names. There, I said it. You might say, well, I only know 25 people. Baloney, okay? How many people do you have in your phone? How many people do you have on social media? Um, how many people, if you really sat down and worked at it, could you think of? I bet you it's a lot more than you think it is. See, don't make the mistake a lot of people make. The mistake they make is they're thinking, who do I know that wants to do the business? Stop. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about who do you know that might lead to other people? Who do you know that would look at it and evaluate it? Very big difference and expand your list dramatically. You know, we talk about friends, family, neighbors, high school, college, friends, organization, churches, groups you belong to, work colleagues, past uh, or present, uh, social media, all those ways are great ways to lead to people. 
And then you qualify your list. And by qualifying it, we mean there's, there's certain traits we look for. If somebody has sales or service experience, that's great. Teachers, trainers, coaches, they've got some skill sets that are very good in our business. Entrepreneurs or business experience, fantastic. I think entrepreneurs understand that you have to put some effort in before you get paid. A lot of time, someone who's never been an entrepreneur is like, oh, I got to go to a training. That's going to cost me money and I'm not making money yet. Well, heck yeah, you got to put something in to get something out a lot of times. Someone buys a restaurant, do you think they, they have customers there before they have a restaurant and they have food? It doesn't work that way. Um, attitude, people magnets, money, people have had it. People have had it or lost it. People have made money, want to make more. Again, another mistake people make is they try to talk to everybody who's broke. I When I started, one of the things I did that helped me is I looked for people who are already successful in life because I figured successful people want to be more successful. And, and a lot of us are scared to do that. But in reality, there are some of the most open people in the world. And that's why this evaluation approach, this is why the team has been talking about it so much because it's easier to get in front of people like that with an evaluation approach. And if they see what's going on, Yes, then they want to be part of it as well, not just refer people to you. Uh, prior networking or direct sales experience is fantastic. Um, a lot of times they, they've overcome some of those fears that some of us have when we're starting. We just may have to coach them a little bit on the way we do our business because we're very different from any other company in the way we do things, the way we qualify people, the way we build. And that's something we want to make sure that, uh, again, we always, always do as we're uh, working with people. So let's take three minutes. Uh, we're going to have some fun. Many of you have trained with me before. I know I love to do this. I love to take three minutes and I'm going to, I'm going to mention some uh, names and different things like that. And as I do it, I want you to uh, write down names of people you think of first name, last name, whatever it is. And let's start building your names list for 2021. You with me? Should we do it? Okay, I'm, I'm saying you said yes, so here we go. I'm gonna start this. When I say something, you write it down. You write down the name that comes to your mind, okay? Who do you know that is an entrepreneur? Who do you know, uh, you, you know, that like, like for Lisa and I, we went to a, into a restaurant last night we haven't been to in almost a year. Uh, great people struggling, I could tell. Uh, it's somebody we're probably going to talk to about the business because we know that they're looking for things. Who They're already entrepreneurs. They're already successful, but it's a much tougher time for them. Who do you know? Like your accountant, your dry cleaner, your, your person. Who's approached you about another business in the past? So think of all those entrepreneurs in your life. And there's a lot of them when you start thinking about where you go to, where you, uh, who you work with to be able to, to do services for you, people who are entrepreneurs. Who do you know that's in sales? Who do you know uh, that's in inside sales or outside sales? Maybe they work remotely in sales currently. So many people work remotely in this day and age uh, that never did before that may have some extra time to build a business with you uh, as well. Uh, who do you know that loves um, nutrition, that works out? Who do you know that works out? Uh, they, whether it's walking a couple of miles a day, or maybe they're, they're, they're really into the home workout and things like that, but they're trying to stay fit with everything going on. Maybe they still go to a gym with the mask and, and everything else, but whatever it is, they like to work out. They like to do things like that. And, and then from the working out, who do you know that's into nutrition? Who do you know that takes a daily vitamin? Who do you know that has gone to GNC? Uh, before and, and bought supplements. Who do you know that takes care of, that eats right and really tries to take care of us? Who do you know that's in the cosmetics? Who do you know that's in the skincare that might benefit from our, our, our Motives line or our Lumiere de V line? Um, who do you know that always looks put together? Um, who do you know that's a, a, a single mom or a single dad? You know, maybe they're raising some children and they need some extra income or they need an extra time to be able to get away for a, an hour or two to, to be able to build a business. Um, who do you know that works in the health profession? Maybe it's nurses, maybe it's doctors. Who do you know uh, that, that a, a chiropractor, a physical therapist, an occupational therapist that might be someone who would look at the business, would evaluate it and, and lead you to some different people. How about people you've worked with in the past? People you liked, or maybe someone you work with now that you think would be a great colleague. You know, one of the things I've always said is look for people you like. Who do you like? 
Um, we've got some neighbors, and I got to tell you, I love these neighbors. They're they're new. They moved in recently, and we've really become great friends. And I just told Lisa the other day, I said, I, I got to talk to these people because I just love being with them all the time. And, and if they see the value in our business, we're just going to be together that much more. If they don't, that's fantastic too. They'll probably lead me to some people. That's the kind of people uh, they are. But so, who do you know that you'd like to hang out with? I've used up three minutes of time right now. I, I just named a bunch of different things. I didn't even go that far in depth tell you the truth um how many put put in the chat how many names you wrote down just on what i was doing there for three minutes now what if you took an hour what if you took two hours and you actually wrote down look at kitty 26 names way to go kitty um think of what you'd be able to do way to go joanne you got five people on there but you can increase that to 10 by the time i finish my presentation way to go sue Way to go, everybody. I can't name him. Patrick, 31. That's my guy right there uh, doing that. I love it. Jason, good to see you. But, you know, here we just took this little bit of time and look what's going on and, and, and what's happening. An hour, two hours. Get with your spouse. Get with your significant another. Get with a teammate if you don't have those and sit down and, and, and brainstorm together like I was doing. You know, you can uh, Google things like names list and you can uh, print off where there'll be memory joggers for you to do this. But do this in December. Don't wait to January 1st. Let's get ourselves ready to rock and roll. So when January 1st hits, we've already got those appointments ready and going. Great job, everybody. Thank you for, for sharing the, the numbers you did. And I bet you those numbers will go up uh, as I'm going on because you'll think of more things. Now, second thing we're talking about is base 10, seven strong, right? So if we're gonna build a solid base in 2021, we need a retail base. This is a retail-based business. And you know what retail provides? It provides BV, ongoing BV. Because if I, I, I have a customer, Paul, who was my customer in uh, October of 1997, still purchases from me. I have customers who have ordered from me 22 years, 21 years, 20 years. Crazy, right? So you got to you got to build a base of customers. So we got to get to 10 regular customers who order on a regular basis. Maybe it's once a month they order. Uh, my goal is to have 10 who order once a month or they have 20 who order every other month. I want I want it to average out to 10 a month as I do that because then if I can get them ordering one product like a daily essentials kit or uh, meaning the packets or an OPC3 you know, by the packets, by the way, what great tools we have, right? With our, our marketing items to be able to, by the way, we're going to have more items coming out in this. So you need to get this marketing app. You need to start using it. You need to get aware. This is one of my goals is to really blow this up in 2021 and get my entire team really taking advantage of this and getting this out to their car. I mean, how easy is it when an order is placed, you can send it directly from the company like that if you want to, so you don't even have to think about it. But if I can get 10 customers doing 40 BV, that's 400 BV. Plus, if I use 100, and a good guy, I mean, Lisa and I, uh, we, I think we use 100 in the morning um, between all the isotonics, between all of our, our, our supplements, between our hair care, between our skin care. You know, I'm using the, the Lumiere Ohms line completely now. I did that presentation we did with, with uh, Lauren and Dennis and Andrew and all the guys. And man, I mean, I I was using one of the items. Now I got, I told Lisa, it takes me four extra minutes to shower because I got my, my full face uh, that I'm doing. And, and, you know, hopefully I'm taking much better care of my skin. But as I'm doing it, I'm just thinking more BV, more BV flowing through. I even grew a little beard so I could use the elixir. I mean, I'm serious about growing, growing this BV, you know. So we, we need to get to the point of 10 customers, 40 BV. I'd love you. By the way. When I say 10, I'm saying minimum. I mean, come on, why can't we do 20? Why couldn't you have 20 customers? We have great products. Why couldn't you do 30? I mean, we can do more, 10 is a minimum. I want you to set the goals for next year. What is it gonna be? And we're gonna take action. We're gonna take action by sharing things like, our, like this, by doing wellness events. Uh, but if we do that and we have 400 BV plus we're using a minimum of, of 100, now we have 500 
BV coming up from each person. All we need is three people on the left and three people on the right. And now we've got a $300 commission coming each month because we're doing over 12 and 12. We're at 15 and 15 without even thinking about it. This is what I want, guys. I want the focus in 2021 to get our people paid and to develop customers. Because if we do that, do you know how easy it is, by the way, as you develop this to have customers who eventually become business partners as well, because they already love our product. So as you develop the customer base, you're actually expanding what will be part of your base of growing your, your business. So set a goal of base 10, seven strong. I'm, I'm going to tell you to set a goal of more than 10. You can do more than 10. You're better than that. You're with me at 930 uh, Eastern time uh, on a uh, Thursday night. If you're that serious, I know you can do more than 10 customers. So what are our main things? Share the business plan, two evaluations per week, base it on your numbers. Uh, use and share the products, base 10, seven strong, leading into master UFO, leading into shopping annuity, attend and promote the events and create a team that does the same thing. So when we talk master UFO, let's talk master UFO as I sort of wrap in th this up tonight. We need to complete the shopping annuity assessment. Everybody should be doing that right away. We need to have a current UFMS. Come on, if you don't have, by the way, you need to be on auto ship. I just, an article came out today that uh, I did on auto ship. I can't believe when people have people on their team not on auto ship. Uh, to me, you're not serious if you're not on auto ship because you can't grow a big business if nobody's on auto ship and people are going to do what you do. So Part of being on auto ship, I always have my UFMS attached to my auto ship. It's just simple. I'll purchase a minimum of 1500 BV of exclusive branded products per quarter. Now, again, that's that's breaking it out 500 per month, then breaking it out. What am I using? And by the way, remember, this is what you purchase and what you retail based on your personal preferred customer ID. So if you're retailing and you're using products, you're going to have the ability for Master UFO to get that 1500 you know, pretty, I don't want to say easily. I hate to make it sound easy, but to me, it is easy because with our 10 customers doing 40 BV, we're already at 400 a month. That's 1200 a quarter. We do 300 on our own. Most of you who are on this are probably doing 1500, 1700, 1800, 2500 in BV between you uh, and your customers. Then create a minimum of 300 IBV per quarter. If you're in the U.S. and in different countries, that may be slightly different. But then you got to break that. That's $100 a month. How are we going to do that? Can we use Raise? Uh, can we use Wine.com? Can we use Petco? Can we use Walmart? Can we use Kroger? Um, you'll start thinking about all the different places that you can shop and generate. Macy's at the holidays. I bought I don't think my dad's on this, but my dad, a couple shirts. I hope he's not watching this video right now. Uh, a couple shirts for the holidays. I did it through Macy's, got the IBB uh, for doing that. You know, I always look to see, can I buy a, a, a raise card so I can double dip and get paid on the raise card, save a little money, and then you do the IBB uh, at the store. We have gift cards through shop.com. You guys can do that. We can do this if you plan for it. I'll tell you that. That's why I've never missed it. Like I said, the last however many years, six, seven years, because we plan for it. Sponsor a minimum of one qualified and active on franchise owners. We got to sponsor one person uh, per quarter. Again, we're sponsoring one person per quarter. So again, what do we have to do? We have to know our number. What's our number? If it takes six people, we got to evaluate the business and we need to do eight to make sure we do one, right? Get more, give yourself a couple extra. That's two a week. Um, attend or conduct an NUOT or B5. How easy is this right now online? You know, so you can attend an NUOT and a B5 uh, once a quarter and you go to an ECCT once a year and you've met your requirements to be able to hit uh, master UFO again. Purchase a minimum of three tickets to the next major event, whether that be World Conference or International Convention here in the United States. You know, we should all have our tickets. I'm going to tell you right now, let's get our tickets for World Conference. And I know some people say, well, you know, but what, what if, you know, the pandemic is still going, we'll figure it out. Then it's going to be virtual. If, if that does happen, you're going to need your tickets no matter what, right, guys? That That's the key. And I think we all need to think that way. You need to get your people there no matter what. Uh, and then complete a basic five diagnostic test in which you score greater than or equal to 50% and or earn a minimum of 900 in commissions uh, for that respective quarter. That's how we hit Master UFO. Those are things you guys are doing every day. And not, you know, to me, this is just a, a bonus. 
When you do that, you get an extra placement where you can place volume. So instead of having one place you can place it, you have two places you can place it, which is only a benefit. But honestly, the real benefit is hitting it and teaching your team to hit it because of all the volume that's being generated and all the customers you're generating doing that. To me, that's the long-term benefit uh, of doing that. You know, JR has told us there's there's five things we, we really need to take a look at. Use the evaluation approach to secure two presentations per week. Um, I've talked about that a lot tonight. Be a product of the product. Use all the products. Master UFO, 500 BB and 100 IBB a month. Talked about that, didn't we? Get two prospects to evaluate the plan and you learn to show the plan. So as you do the approaches, now you get two to evaluate it, sell tickets to the next GM TSS event, and then measure, monitor, and adjust. That's why I said, let's write the goals down. Let's look at what we're going to do for the, the year. Uh, let's break it down by the month or the quarter so we can then measure, monitor, and adjust and say, are we hitting what we're doing? And I, I, I want to put this out there. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put those goals in front of you. I want you to have them. I don't want to hear next year, oh, I was going to do it, but, you know, put them somewhere, get irritated, get mad, say, you know, I'm done. 2020 taught me a lesson. I need to do this now. You know, uh, th there's a, a saying in the company, we've always said it's later than you think. So get it taken care of, right? Let's get it taken care of now. Let's set that for our 2021 Um with that being said, you know, the difference between success and failure has always been the same. The difference between success and failure is the individual simply uh, who succeeds simply does what the individual who failed did not do or was not willing to do, right? So what are you willing to do for the success you're wanting? I challenge you to go for it in, in this next year. I challenge you to start tomorrow. Don't wait for 2021. Make a couple calls tomorrow uh, to be able to do that. And I, I'm going to say this, whatever you think you need to do, do more. Uh, it, it's probably the two words I, I irritate more people with in the world because anytime someone on my team calls and says, hey, I really want to move to the next level. What do I need to do? And my answer is always the same. It's do more, but it's do more of the right things. It's do more of the basic five that we talked about today. It, it don't go off on tangents all over. Focus on what is going to create success and you are going to have the best 2021 uh, that you, you've ever had. A lot of you know my favorite movie is called It's a Wonderful Life. I, I can't wait every year. I watch it as soon as uh, Thanksgiving's over. I'm ready to watch. The kids all know I'm ready to watch. I can't even wait an extra day because I love that. It, it, it talks about so many great things in there. And, you know, one of the opening lines in there are when the angels are together before they, they come down to help George Bailey. You can tell I really know all the characters. And uh, one of the angels says, Clarence, the angel says to the other angel, said, is he sick? Because he said there's a whole bunch of people praying for George Bailey tonight. And he says he's not. The other angel says worse. It's worse than being sick. He says it's worse. And, and really what he's saying is what's worse is he's lost hope. Uh, and we have the ability to give that hope right now. So let's make it a wonderful life. He says it's worse. He's discouraged. Let's stop having people be discouraged. Let's give it to them. Go out and make it happen. Hey, happy holidays uh, from Lisa and I. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, appreciate what we have uh, all from, with our families, with our business, with, with our family together here at Market America. Much love to you guys. Uh, much respect for everything you've done this year. We appreciate you like you wouldn't believe. Uh, and have a great, great 2021. I'm looking forward to being a big part of it with you. Take care, everybody, and have a great, great rest of the evening. Thanks for being with me tonight.